<laughs> there goes our ride. Train drops you off. Magically disappears. Seems legit. Hey everybody, it's Bob Peas. Welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Last episode, Roxas finally merged with Sora. And now we're actually playing the game of Sora and we're just progressing as we normally would. But, there's remnants of Roxas all over the place. When we were talking to Hainer, Pins, and Olette, they all just felt like they should see Sora off. Sora actually cried as he was leaving. And I'm being distracted by a big butt. Just bouncing up and down at the top of a staircase. Must approach giant unidentified booty. Whose booty are we dealing with? <laughs> I sent some of my lackeys inside to see if the master of this here tower's as big and tough as they say. Word is he's a real powerful sorcerer, which would make him the perfect bodyguard for me. See, it don't matter how tough he is. Once he's a heartless, he'll do as I say. Uh -huh, well. That's right. They're those things that come out of the darkness in folks' hearts. Why, with all those heartless at her side, my dear friend Maleficent is gonna conquer everything. And since I got me a debt to pay, I'm going round to a bunch of different worlds and building an army of heartless, special for her. Oh, why am I talking to you pipsqueaks anyway? Go on, Scram, I'm behind schedule as it is. You ought to find something nicer to do. Oh, says who? Huh? Oh, it's you! Pete? What are you two Nimrods doing here? What are you doing here? You know him? We sure do. Pete's been causing trouble for ages. His Majesty banished him to another dimension a long time ago. I wonder how he escaped. <laughs> You want to know how, eh? Well, Maleficent busted me out, that's how. And now your world, no, 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 all the worlds, are going to belong to yours truly. Because uh, Maleficent's going to help me conquer them. Maleficent, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you laughing at? Why, Maleficent's power is so great that... She's toast. Huh? Sorry, but Maleficent can't help you now. What do you mean? You! So you're the ones that did it! Well, we might have had something to do with it. Heartless Squad, round up! Our Keyblade wielder's getting a little cocky, don't you think? Ah, back to the enemies we know and love, Heartless! Oh, I couldn't even kill that thing in a one aerial combo. One experience! Come on, Shadow! How y'all down? Here? You just wait. Nobody, and I do mean nobody, messes with the mighty Pete. So, mighty Pete, who lives in this tower anyway? Oh, you don't know, eh? Well, it's old Yen Sid. Of course, he's probably a heartless by now. Master Yen Sid lives here? Yen Sid is the king's teacher. Wow, sounds powerful. Pete is just so irrelevant to them three.
Mr. Y Master Yinsen lives here. Let's Bye. Pete just feels so ignored. How can you not ignore him? He's freaking Pete. What harm is he to me? Heartless squad, well done! And what shows up? These guys. Hey, Dal, can you do what you did at the beginning of the game? You know, during the intro, I was climbing the stairs, swinging left and right, killing one thing at a time, and you just were like, thunder! And you destroyed everything. Where was that? Where's that? Please, let that be a thing right now. You have thunder, use it. Atta boy! You go, big dog! Well, actually, Goofy would be a big dog. You go, big duck! You're actually kind of small, actually. You go, little duck! I have no idea what I'm saying anymore. Don's gonna get the finishing blow on one of these guys. I can tell right now. The Goofy stole it? Goofy ran into it with his shield and just stood there and got the final hit. I wonder which door I'm supposed to go through. And if you somehow do get confused, look, it actually says like you're going downstairs and then you're going upstairs, like right there on the doors. Wayward stairs. Yeah, right. <laughs> Such a climb. It just rooms that teleport from what. You go in there, you go into a room that's apparently in another dimension, then you go back up... Okay. If that's how they want it to be. I get it. Magic. Cool. You're magical. You don't need to rub it in my face, man. Speaking of magic, you can't even use magic yet. You've forgotten every magical spell you've learned. You can't use anything. In the spot where magic would be, it's a giant question mark. Nice. Strength and defense? Oh, not bad. Well, it's a good thing we're on the job then. So, the worlds aren't at peace after all? And considering how many Kingdom Hearts games have been released, apparently the worlds have still not been at peace for a long time. Anyway. One more flight of stairs. And almost no interruptions, just some uh, soldiers near the top. And one good combo killed them all. So, oh, oh, Cyclone! Oh, yes, I love the reaction commands for those guys. Seriously, all these enemies that have reaction commands. I think the shadows might be the only enemies in the game without reaction commands. There might be another one that I'm not thinking of, or... No, okay, there's a few that don't, but... Jeez, I never really thought about it. This is the beginning. So far, every enemy we fought has a reaction command, but not the shadows. I find that funny. So anyway, let's go to this door. See if Master Yin Si's been turned into a heartless yet. Master Yin said, it's an honor. Hey there. Show us, show some respect. So, you are Sora. Now then, have you seen the king yet? Yes, we did, Master, but we didn't get a chance to talk to him. Yes, the king has been quite busy of late. Therefore, it would seem that the task of instructing you three falls upon my shoulders. You have a perilous journey ahead of you. You must be well prepared. 
You mean, we have to go on another quest? I was looking forward to finding my friend Riku, so we could go back to the islands. Yes, I know. However, everything in your journey, Sora, is connected. Whether you will find your way home to the islands, whether you will return alone or with your friend, and whether or not the islands will still be there. And the key that connects them all is you, Sora. I'm... the key? Chosen wielder of the Keyblade, you are the key that will open the door to light. This book contains valuable knowledge you will need for your journey. Study it carefully. Once you have finished, we will speak of the enemies you will surely confront. Ain't nobody got time for reading, but I would love to see how much time you're willing to waste. Let's see, the beginning. Beginning. Each journey gives rise to chance encounters, and each encounter brings forth a farewell. When a farewell leads to a journey, the world opens their hearts. There are those chosen by the light, those ensnared by the darkness, friends who share the same bonds, though their paths may differ. When you doubt the path trod thus far, when you hand. Why do they have to word it like this? When the hand you held is lost to you, gaze anew at the heart that once was. Like, I read ahead, and that was just. Uh, why? Why must you word? Why must you form these sentences with nothing but four, five-letter words? You shouldn't have to speak that weirdly with four and five-letter words. The interlude. A long dream, a sad farewell, hang in the air in that world between. Okay, we're good so far. What is reality? What is illusion? The path chosen by the young boy leads to his memories. Okay, we're good so far. When caught in the stream of the days and nights going past, gaze anew at your step. Why are you saying gaze anew? For their all confusion will end. The future story. Will the day come when this battle born of confusion will end? Is it different to do? Wait, it is different things to different people. Can the reality be that which is hidden? The reason is mere existence. Still, memories can be believed. Be not afraid and trust your body to the soothing waves of your memories. Soothing waves of your memories, really. By and by, your fleeting rest will be over and everything will begin. Everything will be over and everything will begin. Do you want me to read this book from beginning to end again? Now, you realize how much time you just wasted. Let me open this giant chest. No, not talk to you. What do you want? We have read the book like Master Yen said. Oh, we have to. Um, I already did. This is a strange tower. I wonder why it was built. Adventuring rule number eight. Search every corner of a new place. See, why is Goofy more useful than a book? Something is wrong here. I'm going to get this. Yeah. Tower map. We're in Master Yin Sid's room, yet we're just getting a map. Okay. That book contains important knowledge. Be sure to read it. No, it's filled with riddles and what ifs and what can be. You think of what can be and it can be. Not this is what actually is going to happen. No! Come on, riddle man. Do you have any more questions? Actually... Wait a sec, how come the Heartless are still running around? 
Your past endeavors did prevent an immense effusion of Heartless from the Great Darkness. Make no mistake about that. However, the Heartless are darkness made real, and darkness yet lingers in every heart. The Heartless are fewer, but while darkness exists in a single heart, it will be difficult to eliminate them. Gorge, that must mean if everybody's heart was full of light, them Heartless would go away. Now, it is time to speak of the enemies that you will encounter. <coughs> if one such as you, Donald, yields to the darkness in their heart, they too will become a heartless. But you know this. The Heartless are always lurking and ever seeking to capture new hearts. Never let your guard down. Now then. At times, if someone with a strong heart and will, be they evil or good, becomes a Heartless, the empty shell they leave behind begins to act with a will of its own. An empty vessel whose heart has been stolen away. A spirit that goes on even as its body fades from existence. For you see, no bodies do not truly exist at all. No bodies may seem to have feelings, but this is a ruse. They only pretend to have hearts. You must not be deceived. No bodies they don't exist. Now then, the being you see before you is known as a Dusk. They are the most common form of nobody. But there are others, some larger, some with frightening and unique powers. Be vigilant. On your journey, you will meet an alarming number of dusks. They will all attempt to do you harm. Still, they are nothing but empty shells destined to return to darkness. But... The beings you see before you now are different. These powerful nobodies have formed a group called Organization 13. It commands the lesser nobodies. Organization 13. While heartless act on instinct, nobodies function in a higher manner. They can think and plan, and it seems they are working towards a goal. What that goal is, we do not know. The king sensed the danger and journeyed forth to fight it. He found the Dark Realm's Keyblade and with it closed the door. Now he's traveling from world to world, fighting the Heartless as he seeks the answer to the riddle of the Nobodies and Organization 13. Then I guess we better go find the king first. What world does he be? Well, we won't know till we look. Yeah, and the king must know where Riku is, because the two of them were together in the Realm of Darkness when we closed the door. You know, after defeating Ansem. So, before you go, you will need more suitable traveling clothes. Those look a bit too small for you. Through there, you'll find three good fairies. If you ask, they'll create for you appropriate garments. Gore, Sora, you sure are growing fast. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Okay, 
I was waiting for that line right there to explain something. Goofy just said to Sora, You sure are growing fast. Well, if you stand in front of Goofy, you're now actually quite taller than him. You used to be looking like up at his nose and you couldn't even see his eyes. Look how big you are now. That's how much you grew in a year and they really haven't acknowledged the fact that it's been an entire year. But... Yeah, we're finally going to get more suitable traveling garments. You could have just said go in there and get bigger clothes, but, you know, wizards. Also, you like how much Sora likes to keep reminding everyone that he beat Ansem? So cocky, I swear. Me, you guys, Riku, and the King. I don't care who this organization is or what it's planning. With the five of us, I mean, six of us, there's nothing to worry about, right? Okay, common question of the day. How Sora just said, with the five of us, I mean, six of us. Who do you think he meant by when he said, I mean, the six of us? Because... There's three of them, Sword Island and Goofy, and then you may think, oh, he might be talking about Riku and Mickey. He may have subconsciously thought about Roxas. He might have meant Kyrie. There's so many things that he could have meant. Let me know who you think he was talking about. Obviously, three of them are Sword Island and Goofy, but who else do you think he's referring to? And I don't care if you're new or old to the series, just take a guess. I'm curious to see what you guys have to say because they never really specified it ever, but let me know your thoughts. Uh, but anyway, let's see. I'm going to go around and examine everything. Let's see. And an image of you overcome by the power of darkness flows into your mind. Oh boy. An image of the Keyblade unleashing its ultimate power float. I, I almost said power and flows is one word. Plower. Okay, anyway, an image of you possessing all abilities flows into your mind. I find this kind of funny because I do actually intend on getting all abilities and all keyblades in this uh, playthrough. An image of you obtaining old powers flows into your mind. Hmm. An image of you utilizing your magic to its fullest flows into your mind. Yeah, I do plan on doing that. An image of you utilizing your strength to its fullest flows into your mind. Well. Defined all of my strength. Well, magic is obviously upgrading everything to the final form, but yep, there you go. This right here was more in depth than that book he made us read. Wizards, man! Wizards! Why are you so annoying? We've been told about you. Hurry up and try our new clothes. That is, after you prepare for your journey, of course. These clothes will help you only as much as you grow. As your growth a lot. I hate reading ahead. Their true potential lies dormant. It's your job to unleash it. Yeah, I read faster than I speak, so I always stumble over my words. It's a problem I've got. I apologize. Let's see. Once you've changed, you're off. Change clothes? Please get me out of this shrimpy wear, I guess you may want to call it. I don't know. Change me! Well, look who's here, dears. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Oh, if you're looking for clothes, you've come to the right place. I'll do the designing. Oh, that will never do. Oh, now, now, dears. But don't you like this better? Hold on. Are you certain? Blue. Ah, uh, would you just decide? <gasps> oh, well. <laughs> 
All right, then. Together now, dears. And no more squabbling. Oh, my. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, yes. He does look very dashing. Now, those aren't ordinary garments. They have very special powers. Take the orb, dear. And watch what happens. Wow! Whoa! Wow! Two keyblades! This journey's going to be twice as difficult as your last. The <sighs> garments also have other powers. But you'll have to discover what they are as you continue on your journey. Okay, I'll do my best. And thanks a lot. Oh, and there's something else for you from Master Yen Sid. Oh, boy! All right, so with that, we get the Star Seeker Keyblade. Increases maximum combo by one in the air. So, that's cool and all because with that form we just got, Valor Form, it's a completely physical form. Even when we get magic, we will not be able to use it at all. So, that's only when we're in that Valor Form, and you have to get rid of Goofy in order to use it. So, with Goofy's help, use the drive command to change into valid form. So basically, Goofy will go away and it'll only be you and whatever other ally you've got with you. So, it's very good and I'm going to be using it a lot and I'll explain how to basically level it up. Forms have their own levels in addition to your own level up gauge. So, you just switch like this. Light. And there you go. Right there at the bottom right corner, you can see that we got form. As soon as that runs out, we go back to normal, and we have to fill the drive gauge up all over again. Now, I can't show it off in here, but one trick to fill your form gauge all the way up without losing all your drives is to go to a save point, leave the world, and go right back into the world. And everything should be fine and dandy. Also, here's the thing about the star secret we just got. Oh, so yeah, you get new abilities with your, uh, with your new forms. But anyway, what I want to show, see, it says that there's no other Keyblade. You cannot switch these two Keyblades. I wish there were a way, honestly, because I'd much prefer to just use the Star Seeker. It, to me, it looks cool. It gives a good ability, and it's the same stats. So, I would prefer using this all the time, but you can't switch the two you need to earn more keyblades in order to do that so let's check out the abilities you get all this stuff that just basically boiled down means you can jump a little higher and you do a crap ton of damage Th that's all you really need to worry about leaps toward a target a rapid attack with square so yeah all that stuff that I was doing earlier with Roxas when I was fighting Axel just pressing square and doing that Unfortunately, it's only these two hits. It's not like a five six hit combo and knocking them up in the air But something common you can do is just hit square and then hit square again and just do a starting and finishing attack on enemies It's really useful. I'll get into using it a lot once we actually get into fights, but for now, let's go talk to Master Yen Sid Huh? Sora, I think he dropped some Huh? It must have fallen out of your pocket. What is it? Part of a picture? Is this a gift too? Oh, we don't know anything about that. But if you found it in your pocket, it must have something to do with your adventure. Hold on to it, dear. So basically, they couldn't think of an explanation to put in the game. So they're just like, eh, just do it. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. In fact, you should hold on to any other pieces you come across your journey. Uh, 
I'll make sure to note them in my journal. Alright, so we'll mess with these as we actually collect them all. You have obtained a puzzle piece. Puzzle pieces are scattered all over the world. Some can only be accessed after learning a certain ability. You can view collected pieces in Gemini's journal. So we'll worry about that whenever we get to it. Now, you may have noticed when we were leaving rooms, you were, we were actually in the Valor form. That's something I love about the very rare attention to detail in this game. Whenever you actually transform into a certain form and you go into a cutscene or anything else, you stay in that outfit. It's not just an automatically generated cutscene, it loads what you were wearing, so I actually like that. So you guys ready to go? Now, now, just a moment. Because of your previous endeavors, the worlds have returned to their original states. That means the pathways between them have disappeared. How do we get around? Do not fear. If what the king suspected proves true, the worlds have prepared new pathways along which you may travel. These pathways may be utilized by unlocking special gates. How these gates are opened, I'm afraid I do not know. However, the Keyblade will serve as your guide. When a beam of light radiates from the Keyblade, return to the gummy ship. Though the worlds may seem far apart and out of reach, they nonetheless remain connected by invisible ties. As do our hearts. Our hearts are connected. That is correct. Got it. But, be warned, as you proceed, the Heartless and the Nobodies will be using their own paths, corridors of darkness, to travel from world to world. They may be attempting to link these dark pathways to the gates between the worlds. How gets that far? Now then, that is all the information I can give to you. Go forth, Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Everyone is waiting. Okay, let's get going. Master Legend! We sure do appreciate the help. You know he teleported right back to that seat. I hate wizards. My goodness, what's that? <gasps> Haven't we seen this somewhere before? Yes, dear. I wonder whose it was. Oh, <gasps> Malefa! No, we mustn't remember her name. Oh, dear. She was a mean old witch. Oh, no. The memories are coming back. What'll we do? Oh, what'll we do? We should tell Master Yen Sid. Yes, that's what we must do. Hurry. Maleficent! Guess who wasn't there to help right away? 
the wizard. I hate wizards. <laughs>